Being a paranormal investigator, one of the many highlights is capturing a clear EVP. An EVP that is unexpectedly clear will definitely catch anyone's attention and perhaps turn a skeptic into a believer of the paranormal. Here I have four of the most compelling EVPs of 2019 for my paranormal investigations. They're impressive, they're clear, and they are real. Starting off, we'll go to the investigation, summer 2019. And this investigation took place at a cemetery in rural Oklahoma. It was definitely eerie being out there, especially with the storms rolling in. But on this particular investigation, we didn't get a whole lot of activity. It wasn't super active that night. There were a few spots here and there where it did get a little eerie, got a little creepy, but nothing definite. <laughs> Like a lot of EVPs that are captured, you don't even know what you have until you review your footage. And after reviewing the footage on this particular investigation, it was surprising that I did capture something like this. Let's take a listen. One of the most compelling EVPs I've captured happened in February 2019. And this particular EVP I caught was a huge surprise. It was day out and I wasn't even looking for an investigation. I went out looking for a cemetery to take some photographs of old headstones. But I do always keep my EMF meter with me. And this was the first time out of all the cemeteries I've been to where it started going off immediately. So that's when I decided I better start recording. The EVP I soon captured literally sent shivers down my spine. Listen and tell me what you hear. Going back to my very first paranormal investigation video, January 2019, me and a friend went to my grandmother's house, which is now vacant since the passing of my uncle nearly six years prior. I will say that there are many claims and personal experiences to suggest that this house is haunted, from my dad, uncles, and aunts who grew up there, to my grandpa, to my brother, and even me. There have been two known deaths in this house, one being my beautiful grandmother, and the other being my uncle. My uncle would tell me stories about the house and all the random noises he would hear throughout the night. Stomp your feet like you're dancing. He was known to be very wary about the paranormal and would try to make light of any ghostly experience. That being said, the EVP I'm about to show you I had a relative point out that it sounded like our uncle, and I'm not going to confirm or deny it's him, but it's definitely a strong possibility. What do you hear? Probably my most impressive EVP I've captured happened at one of the most haunted locations in southern Oklahoma. I remember this investigation because we did have a lot of activity and strange occurrences. Brown Springs Cemetery is an infamous location for paranormal enthusiasts. Known for murders and plenty of dark history, a lot has happened here and there are a lot of claims saying that this is in fact haunted. Do you know my name? How was left? I went with two other investigators and we did have a lot of communication through the spirit box, but one particular EVP came across so clear that I literally got chills the first time I heard it. 
I couldn't believe what I caught. I sent the clip to one of the investigators just to verify it wasn't any of our voices, and he couldn't believe what we had caught either. We established that this was indeed a legitimate EVP we had captured. Vinny is an investigator in front of me, and Kyle is about 10 feet behind me, so it's neither one of their voices. Truly unnatural and spine tingling. Listen and tell me what you think. Which of the four EPs is the most impressive to you? Which one is the most compelling? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate your support. I have been recording new paranormal investigations. New videos will be coming out summer 2020. Please subscribe and stay tuned.